Today I want to show you how I made this Jack Skellington bow tie from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skellington's bow tie is essentially a spoopy little bat head on top of some black and white bat wings. To make this bow tie, I started by making the head first. I used Sculpey polymer clay and molded it into a shape resembling a guitar pick. It's just a little bit bigger than a silver dollar in size. Now there are two ways to start the shape. You can grab a lump of clay and smash it between your palms until it's flat and somewhat the right shape like I did, or you can roll the clay into a flat quarter inch to a half an inch thick pancake and then cut out the shape. It's okay if it's a little wonky at first because you can always take and add clay throughout the process. After I managed to get my basic shape, I used a clay tool to lightly draw out where I wanted the bat's eyes to be placed. Then taking small dollops of clay, I added the eyes, nose, and eyebrow regions, maybe? As I went, I tried to smooth out the clay with my silicone clay tools. If you don't have some of these tools, I highly recommend getting some because they make smoothing out crevices so much easier. Once the head looked how I wanted it to, I baked it according to the instructions written on the clay's package. The next step is not necessary, but if you want a smoother finish, you can wet sand your baked bat head. Once the head was baked, sanded, and dried, I used black and white acrylic paint to paint it black and white obviously. For the wings, I used some scrap black faux leather, and I got this from Hobby Lobby years ago in a scrap bag, uh, so I don't remember how much it cost me, but I just had it lying around already, and I thought the texture would be a nice detail. I made a pattern out of printing paper so that I could hold it up to my neck and double check the sizing before cutting out the leather. Then I taped my pattern to the leather so that it wouldn't slide around when I was trying to cut it out. Because the leather by itself is pretty floppy, I hot glued some cereal box cardboard to the back of the leather. Even though the back of the bow tie doesn't really show, I painted it black just in case. I think it makes it look more polished as a whole. Oh, and also just as a note, I recommend that you draw out your pattern on the printed side of the cereal box so that that is facing inward. The last step for the wings was to add the white vein design. Actually, are they veins? I don't know what they are. 
Um, I used a reference photo to guide me. I used another piece of painted cardboard to connect the wings and the head together with hot glue. Oh wait, how do you connect this to your neck? Well, I took another small piece of leather and cut two slits into it so that I could string a choker length necklace through it. If you don't want this as a necklace, you could probably do the same thing, but stick a large safety pin through the slits instead. And voila, Jack's bow tie is complete. I hope you all have a safe and pleasant October. I can't believe it's October already. It does not seem like it should be October. September didn't even exist. If you're dressing up for Halloween, let me know what you're dressing up as in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.